Welcome to the webinar. I'm Craig Copley, a Senior Pro Product Manager for Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro, and I'm here with Patty and Bernie, and today we're going to cover a number of interesting photo editing tips and topics. First, let me introduce myself. I'm an avid photographer. I grew up in the 35 millimeter days, went through a number of different formats and cameras and black and white and color. And uh, I jumped on the digital photography bandwagon about a dozen years ago. Then completely switched to digital once the quality level rivaled film. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm just what I would call a photo enthusiast. Second, I've been in the software development year area for many years now, working in a broad range of products from education and games to productivity and now to photo. This means that I'm now able to tie my passion for, photo for photography into my work. How fun is that? Before we get started, let's uh, get a, through a couple of housekeeping items. First of all, we're going to have question and answers at the end of the, the session. So please type in the text area uh, any questions that you might have. We will be reviewing those, uh, as many as possible of those at least, at the end of this session. We'll also follow up with other, other comments as necessary after the session. If you need help, just go ahead and enter that, and either Patty or Bernie will uh, be able to get back to you during the session. Second, we have invited a lot of different people to the session today, so we're going to have a number of different backgrounds and a lot of different uh, a lot of different uh, history that, that you all will have. So we have various users from uh, different, pro different versions of the program. We have different versions of photo editing tools that you all are, are, are familiar with. And you also have a broad range of cameras from point and shoots to compacts to digital SLRs. So we're going to try to make sure there's something for everyone in the session today. Today's agenda includes a number of different items. Here's a high-level overview of what we're going to cover. We'll do a little intro and background section we're in right now. And we're going to talk about photo correction, correcting brightness, color, light, just basically the presence of the photos. We're going to talk about that in terms of both our Express Lab and our full editor. We're going to talk about object removal, object extraction, raw processing, and uh, we'll have the Q&A at the end. So my real objective today is to show how easy and how fun it is to work with photos. Give some tips and tricks from my experience and show that there are a lot of powerful tools that help you make the most of your photography. The software I'll be using today is PaintShop Photo Pro X3. I'll be using tools that have been in the last several versions of the program, plus some new ones in this X3 version. I, uh, I'll also try to point out when I'm talking about something that is brand new to X3 and X3 only. So if you own X1, X2, X2 Ultimate, uh, most of the tools I'll show uh, will be things that you have in the program today. And so you should be able to take what you learn and uh, put it to use right away in those tools. So a little bit of background philosophy. Here's a thought to put photography and cameras and gizmos and gadgets and software into perspective. If you're shooting photos, you're a photographer. You shoot for a specific purpose. You're telling a story. You're sharing your vision. You're documenting your life or many other possible reasons. It is you, the photographer, your vision of what you want to share, which drives the process. It's your creativity, personality, your plan, which drives the results. The famous photographer Ansel Adams talked about pre-visualization, imagining what the photo would be prior to shooting. Do you have the right angle? Do you have the right settings on the camera? Do you know what the photo will look like before you click the shutter? The camera is a tool to help in the process. So is the software. The attempt is to get the perfect copy of your vision right out of the camera. The less processing and adjustment, the better. 
However, when something didn't come out of the camera exactly the way you envisioned it, software is available to help. From simple adjustments to perception bending changes, it's all there. The goal is the same. It's your vision and the cameras, gadgets, gizmos, and software are there to help you get to that vision. In the day of cool digital cameras with high frame rates and the ability to just go click, 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 and at no cost have a bunch of different photos and hope that you get one that looks good, take control of that process. Think about your vision. Think about what you want to get out of that every step of the way. It will improve your photography overall. So let's take a look at the product. I've just launched PaintShop Photo Pro X3. You'll notice that by default we come into the organizer view. This is a different organizer from the earlier versions as it's a mode that you go into. It has thumbnail mode, which is what we're looking at right now, and also a mode called preview, which allows you to see a larger preview of your image on the screen. Uh, the objective is similar to the earlier versions, but there's uh, significant improvements in usability and functionality uh, that you can use in this. Uh, I happen to use it a lot for visually selecting, rating, tagging, and making collections from my photos. The focus of our review today is not on the organizer, though you'll see it a number of times during the, uh, during the actual demo because that's a great way of getting the photos that we're looking for. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a smart collection of photos that I've created and um, we will take a, take a look at those and do some adjusting. First a little bit of background on adjusting photos. There are many different ideas of what a correct photo is. And, and, and how many different ways that you can adjust it. Today we'll explore several different adjustments that you can uh, make to your photos to get to that vision of what you like. The key here is that there isn't a single correct way of adjusting a photo. There's not a single correct order in adjusting a photo. Um, there's, uh, you know, really comes down to getting to a point where you like what the photo looks like, making sure that the the, the the feel is right based on what you wanted to see and to have a little fun doing it at the same time. So let's make some quick changes to photos just to get, uh, get a feel for how this thing called Express Lab works. Express Lab again is an existing feature in, uh, uh, in a number of versions of PaintShop and it's an easy way for you to uh, easily get in and make some changes. Uh, the interface is a little different in X3. We've added some, added some uh, additional tools, but the idea is the same. So when I launch into the Express Lab, you will see a number of tools in this little toolbar here. You'll also see all of the photos that we selected along the bottom. Simple interface for simple editing purposes, but also can be very, very powerful. So whether you're a um, uh, a hardcore editor person who really likes to get in there and move things around in photos and whatnot, um, or somebody who's just getting started, this is actually a very powerful tool for you to use. I recently produced a wedding video uh, capturing the lives of the young couple and uh, taking them from birth to, 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 to today and uh, required a editing and cropping and touch up on over 150 photos for that particular video. Uh, I used uh, Express Lab exclusively for that just because of, of the, the tool set that's here and the power and the simplicity of making it all happen. So let's take a look. First of all, I'm going to go in and I'm going to select this uh, picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is an interesting angle on the bridge. Uh, it's uh, maybe a, a little bit atypical. There's so many different things and pictures that you've seen of the Golden Gate Bridge. This one is uh, a nice layout good rule of thirds, it's a little bit dull, and uh, the other thing is I'm standing on a uh, rather steep surface here uh, and actually didn't get the, the balance correct on the photo, so it's leaning a little bit. Uh, oddly, you don't want your Golden Gate Bridge to lean, so let's grab a few tools and do a little touch-up. I'm going to grab the straighten tool, 
And what the straighten tool does